What's going on, guys? MDLP from the Battle Axe, a V Strong Man Gym in Miami, where strength is everything. Coming to you from my new room. I got the master bedroom now, so I'm moving on up. Uh, my voice is super echoey. And it's not bad. It's huge mongus. And uh, I'm enjoying it. But let me get up to the good the good news here. I guess not even the good news. I'm just, that was good news. The question. Uh, my boy Zach brought up a really good question up on Facebook. Um, and I'll actually read it so I don't fuck it up. And um, and just it's really based on uh, alcohol intake and, and training and, you know, what people feel about that kind of stuff. He's asking... Um, he wants to know how people view alcohol when it comes to strongman and powerlifting, uh, from drinks after a contest to a night with friends on the weekends or after a training session. Does it fit in with strength training or is it a no-go? Uh, that's what Zach asked on Facebook. He posted a bunch of us guys that lift or tagged us and um, you know everyone kind of put their opinion. And I thought it was a really good question to actually talk about and uh, I'll kind of just... I posted some stuff on it, but I have my opinions about it. As you can see, I have a hangover face right now. I look about like I'm 87. So I did some drinking this weekend. And my final conclusion to that, to his question was, you really have to do what makes you happy and what is um, what makes you the happiest, if you want to uh, put it in those terms. So if drinking and socializing and going to parties is what makes you the happiest person on the planet, um, then by all means, continue to do this. Um, that being said, uh, obviously it's, you know, you got to be careful all in moderation speeches, blah, 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 because drinking and partying all the time means you're going to die young in a terrible way. Uh, but you're probably just really happy doing those kind of things. Now, if training and lifting and powerlifting and competing are what makes you the most happy and they are the things that drive you, uh, then you'll understand that drinking and going out and hanging out with people and too much and staying up late to party will affect your training. And when you wake up the next morning and try to lift with a hangover, you're not going to get your PRs, you're not going to hit your numbers, you're going to feel like crap, your joints are going to hurt, you're going to look old, <laughs> and it's going to take its toll, which means you will not be as happy when you train. You will actually feel terrible. For those of us that drink and train, for instance, me, I went out this weekend, Super Bowl was yesterday, I uh, had some beers. I know that when I hit the gym this afternoon, which it should have been in the morning, but I just didn't feel it, um, it's not going to be optimal. It's not going to be the best thing I can do. Um, will I have a few beers when I'm training? Yes. Um, the severity of the training always goes with how important that competition is. If it's all competitions are very important, some are a little bit more than others. Um, but around four or five weeks out from competitions, I kind of just start focusing on my training. I don't drink much alcohol. I have some whiskey every now and then, a couple beers, maybe a cigar, but nothing uh, that is going to affect my training. I wouldn't drink enough so that I wake up and go to the training session and just feel like trash. Because again, what makes me the most happy uh, in this world is to train, to lift, to compete, uh, to train other people, <clears throat> to get other people strong as well. So if I'm feeling like crap and walking to the gym just not carrying my super pump, not carrying the, the pistols here, <laughs> look at these guys, they're so little, um, then I'm going to feel bad. I'm going to feel upset. And I know that well, what makes me happy is training and the drinking is affecting it. It can be just staying up late watching movies. I mean, it'll affect my training. Not eating right is going to affect my training. Those things are going to affect what makes me the happiest in my life. So yes, the whole moderation speech is, is always a very common one, but I feel like you have to do what makes you really happy, man. And if, if having drinks and beers <clears throat> constantly is what makes you more happy than training, then uh, then go, be it, do whatever you want, man. Live the Viking life. That's what it's supposed to be about, about being happy and doing what you want. But for me personally, I love training more than anything. So when I start to feel that drinking and being around certain people is affecting my training, I have to take a little step back and really focus on just that. So Yes, I think drinking can you can drink and enjoy life and have a few beers with friends and but getting wasted all the time is going to affect your happiness in the gym. And if you're somebody who's a lifter or serious about lifting, you know how it feels to not hit those numbers. You know it sucks when you're feeling like trash in the gym. You can lead yourself to injury, you're not hitting your numbers. And if that's gonna affect you, then you need to clean up your life. Like I said, it's normally not the training protocol, it's not the sport, it's not your lifting uh, regimen. 
It's just your personal life and your choices that you're doing every day. So I hope that helps. Zach, that was a great question. I love good questions like that. Um, it wasn't for me directly, um, but man, it was really a good question. I, and I'm, I'm glad he asked that. So cheers.